Got our camera at Blues Lake, man. The folks are out and about in a big way too. Tons of boats out on the water on this 4th of July and hey, it's great weather for it, right? Of course, hopefully everyone's doing so safely, but that sun really warming us up. Upper 80s, low 90s just now after 12 o'clock on our Thursday afternoon. 89 in Greensboro, but Reedsville at 92, even North Wilkesboro at 90. A couple 80s sprinkled in there as well, but still most of us already in the 90s at lunchtime. And obviously the heat and humidity is building. That's helping to already pop up a couple of isolated downpours in the mountains and foothills. As expected, Galax, Virginia getting a nice little downpour right over town. And then as you head up the mountain on 421 from Wilkesboro to Boone, a couple of showers there along Highway 16 as well, heading up into Ash County toward Jefferson. Over the next few hours, we'll see more of these showers and storms begin to develop. Best coverage will be late afternoon and evening time during that peak heating of the day. Around a 30% chance of some thunder or a downpour this afternoon. Highs continue to climb into the mid 90s later this afternoon, so it is a hot 4th of July and even warm and steamy into the evening hours will likely be in the 80s even during the time for fireworks later on this evening. Low 90s for the foothills, Mount Airy, Yadkinville and Wilkesboro. A hot afternoon with that storm chance developing over the next couple of hours. And for the mountains too, we're already seeing those downpours popping up. Chance of a shower or storm through about dinner time, and then those rain chances start to kind of taper off through the rest of the evening. So here's a look at future cast for us. I think this model is doing a pretty good job at showing what may happen later today. Our best chance for rain and storms will be in the mountains, foothills and along our Virginia border counties. But some of those storms could certainly kind of trickle down into the Piedmont and Triad area late afternoon and evening time right around dinner. I wouldn't get too concerned about your firework plans. This is what the radar might look like at nine o'clock. You see most of this is already clearing out. And once these storms lose that heating of the day after sunset, they should start to fizzle out pretty quickly. So I'm not too concerned about those firework plans. Maybe check the radar if you see some dark clouds roll in, but Overall, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, obviously, it's been very dry recently. We're in a moderate to severe drought across the area. Now, even though we have a chance for rain today, not everyone gets rain and with the dry weather we've had recently, sparks and fire from fireworks, it's kind of a recipe for an increased fire danger. So our fire danger is high today. Just be smart, be mindful with those fireworks later today. Uh, this evening when you're out and about celebrating 4th of July, you wouldn't want to accidentally start a fire uh, in these kind of conditions. So we'll watch out for some storms today. A similar story for Friday. Hot and humid weather continues. We'll have a chance for pop up showers and storms just about each afternoon going forward. Here's a look at Hurricane Barrel, uh, the latest update from the Hurricane Center at 11 a.m. So just about an hour ago. It's not very pretty on satellite, but a new eye may be trying to develop right there. Still not quite developing yet, but winds are at 115 miles per hour. It's a category three storm moving off to the west. Tomorrow it'll make landfall in the Yucatan of Mexico and then move up toward deep south Texas and northeastern Mexico as well. U.S. impacts from barrel likely pretty minimal and confined to deep south Texas. So hot and humid over the next few days here at home with a daily chance of rain and storms. Best chance of a rain or storm will be on Saturday with highs near 90 continuing into next week.